Hello guys, hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Viviana and today we are going to talk about what are you doing right now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora mismo? What are you doing right now? ¿Qué is what? And are you is the verb to be. But in Spanish we have two kinds of verb to be. In this case, we are talking about actions, actions that are happening right now. For this reason, we must use the verb estar. And this is the conjugation. Yo estoy, I am. Tú estás, you are. Él está, he is. Ella está, she is. Usted está, is. You are, but very formal, in singular. Nosotros estamos, we are, ellos or ellas están, they are, and ustedes están. Ustedes is like you guys. Ustedes están. This is the conjugation for the verb estar. Okay. Then, we, when you want to ask something, it's very simple because you must change the conjugation depending the pronoun. Por ejemplo, en este caso, in this case, you are watching a question, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás? Because I am using estás because it's tú estás. What are you doing right now? But if I want to ask about other person, for example, what is Maria doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Maria? Why? Because... Está is the conjugation about María. María is a woman, ella. Ella está. ¿Qué está haciendo María? Or if I want to, to ask about what are they doing? ¿Qué están? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? The conjugation for ellos, for they, is están. ¿Qué están haciendo? Then you only must to replace the conjugation depending the pronoun. Now, for talk about the second part, doing, doing, haciendo. Do is the verb and doing and in ANG. Because you are talking about actions that are happening right now. But in Spanish, mm, we have like a similar structure. But the difference is that we don't put ANG. We put other letters depending the verb. Why? Because in Spanish it is three kinds of verbs. The verbs that finish in ar, verbs that finish in er, and verbs that finish in ir. Like trabajar, comer, o vivir. Then, if the verb end in ar, you must delete ar and put ando, or change ar by ando. For example, trabajar, trabajando. But, If the verb end in ir or er, you change this er or ir for yendo. Por ejemplo, comer, comiendo. Beber, bebiendo. And it's very simple. Yo estoy trabajando, I am working. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Yo estoy enseñando. ¿Y tú? What are you doing right now? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Probably to learn Spanish. Aprender español. Tú estás aprendiendo español. You are learning Spanish. The name of the verbs that finish in ando or yendo is gerundio. Then, and now you know these rules, but so sorry, it is an exception. And this exception, I want to explain to you with the verb leer. Leer is to read. When you change er by yendo, now is leyendo. But when you are using this gerundio, the verb that ends in ando or yendo, you can put three vowels together. Then you must change this i or this consonant. And now, You can see that it's a little different, but this difference, I think that it's only when you're writing because the pronunciation is very, is, is very similar, like leyendo, leyendo. 
It's very similar. Then, if you are only speaking, don't worry, because the pronunciation is same. But if you are writing, yes, you must be careful. And now, let me know what are you doing right now. ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora mismo? If this video worked for you and you are enjoying a lot of, tú estás, tú estás disfrutando, you are enjoying eh, estudiando español conmigo, I invite you to subscribe. Te invito a suscribirte a este canal y te veo pronto. See you soon. Adiós.